Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am sharing how to cook Kerala Mutter Rice in a clay pot. Clay is alkaline in nature and when you cook food in clay pots, it neutralizes the pH balance of food and hence acts as a natural detox. Also, the mud contains all the possible vitamins, even vitamin B12. Cooking in clay pots retains all the nutrients of the food, hence food is much tastier and healthier. Kerala Mata Rice, also known as Rose Mata Rice, is grown in the fields of Palakkad district of Kerala. Hence, the rice is also known as Palakkad and Mata Rice. Kerala Mata Rice has less calories than white rice. It is rich in fiber, it has vitamin A and B and is also rich in vitamin B6. And cooking in clay pots helps to retain all the nutrients. Mata rice takes a slightly longer time to cook than white rice. So today I am sharing my way of cooking Mata rice. So let's get started with the recipe. This is how Kerala Mata rice looks like. It has red specks on the rice which is actually the bran. Though these days you can get a fully polished rice. I personally prefer this one over the fully polished rice. So what I have done is I measured one cup of mutter rice into my clay pot and I am now going to rinse and wash the rice for about 3-4 to four times and once the rice is washed and rinsed well fill the pot with water and guys I have already shared from where I buy clay pots and how I season them links will be updated below this video so please do check it out. Now keep this over the flame and once it starts to boil reduce the flame and let it cook on low flame for about 10 to 15 minutes after 15 minutes you can see that the rice has started to cook but it is not fully cooked and now i'm covering it with a plate and i'm keeping something heavy like a dosha tawa or a cast iron pan like the one i'm using and then turn off the flame and keep it like this for about 30 to 35 minutes what i generally do is i do this process by around 11 11 30 am so that by lunch time rice is ready okay half an hour later you can see that the rice has cooked well and also has swelled up and absorbed the water so i'm adding in some more water and i'm giving it a stir okay i'll just show you how well the rice has cooked now i'm going to turn on the flame and once it starts to boil cover it with the lid and strain the rice carefully as i'm showing in the video Keep it like this for about 5 to 10 minutes so that the water is completely drained off and then you can serve the rice. So guys do try this method and let me know how this turned out. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with family and friends. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.